This is like a public service announcement, okay? And I'm not hating on you guys. Because what I've realized is, sometimes it's not your fault we turn psycho, because you're trying to be nice. So you do something really sweet, and we think it means so much, but it doesn't mean that much. And it fucks up our brain. <laughs> guys are so simple. Like for instance, here's an example. Sometimes you take us out a few times or whatever, and then we fuck you. And after that, we get a little more clingy. Maybe we send 40, 50 texts. <laughs> Who's counting? And you're out with your buddies, and you're like, I don't get it, man. This chick was real cool, she was chill. And I fucked her, and now she won't stop texting me, man. I think, I take it to her, I don't know, I just, I must be that good. I think it's special, I think it's special, man. Your dick might be special, but that's not why you go crazy. It's the after dick moment. If you cuddle a girl all night and you don't love her and she blows up your phone and you don't answer and she blows up your car, that's on you. <laughs> It's not your fault. You're trying to be nice, and you don't feel anything because you're asleep. <laughs> but girls don't sleep for a long time because in the beginning we gotta trick you. We gotta make you think we're perfect. You know, we gotta suck it in. We can't fart. We can't drool. I won't even shit in your house for a year. Like I will walk to McDonald's to shit for a year. And then guys are like, Oh my God, she's so sweet. She brings me coffee every morning. Yeah. I have to. I have no choice. I have to shit. I can't come back with nothing. What am I going to say? Sorry, went to Chevron. Had to shit. That's a lot of hours. You're cuddling us and we're awake and you're asleep and we're thinking things like I can do so much with this place. And then, you know, we both leave and Different things happen for you, because you wake up, and what do you feel? This is what you feel, oh, my arm's asleep, shit, that's it. <laughs> and then I'm a little psycho, because I said too many texts, and my friends are like, Kate, stop, make them chase you. I'm like, it's too late. I sent seven pages. <laughs> now I have to send a paragraph and explain why. <laughs> Guys hate paragraphs. Nothing kills a boner faster than a paragraph. <laughs> they see it like, fuck. Oh. They don't even read it, right? You read the first sentence and the last sentence. That's it. <laughs> they don't read it. If you want them to read the paragraph, you have to put a photo of your butthole in every line. That's the only way. And then, and then my paragraphs are so embarrassing because I over-talk. Like I overshare. Like I tell them everything, why I'm upset. Like, I'm so sorry. I sent too many texts. Let me explain. I was married 10 years. You don't know that yet, but you're going to find out. And I'm a little insecure. I'm a comedian. I'm used to feedback. And you're reading these and not answering, which is hurting my feelings because you held me all night. So I thought we were a couple. We're engaged, but like together, exclusive at least. But maybe not. I saw a hair tie on your bathroom counter. So maybe you are fucking other women. I don't know. You probably should have kicked me out. It would have hurt in the moment. I might have even punched you. But it's like putting that on a dog. It's better than wounded animal in the long run. So, anyway, if you still want to hang, I'm interested. I had fun. Good sex. And I'm very chill. Just let me know. Thank you. drinking because I thought I was an alcoholic. I'm serious, because if I don't drink, I shake a little. <laughs> but my dad has Parkinson's, so I'm hoping it's that, you know? <laughs> and then, like, I, I smoke a little weed, but I cut way back. Yeah, I had to cut back, you guys, because I just <laughs> felt like I was doing it too much. And then my grandma caught me. I felt like, wow, I must be really high, because she's dead. 